this right, let's go to A lot of people come to my Twitch chat and saying, how do I get better as a support player? And they say, you have to think this to yourself. Don't call yourself a support player if you've been playing Thermite for th one game. Or if you had to run Maestro or a, you know, a smoke one game, you know? You don't, you're not a support player, you just happen to play the right operator in the right round. But I really, if you really want to be a support player and you really want to get better, then this video is for you. Um, but it will take time to get work to work as well as every other role in the game. So I'm going to give you guys a few things that I personally think will help you a lot with a support player. Um, so one, I have to say your life, staying alive. So it, it might sound easy, you know, oh, you know, just, you know, I'll just wait outside, you know, that, no, that's not the thing. You have to be efficient. You have to move fast, but also keeping your head low and really having your teammates um, peak for you. It's like if you were Mr. President, you know, if Obama <laughs> was, uh, you know, traveling somewhere, you know, he, he's kind of like in the middle of the group. He's usually uh, in the most safe spot. That's kind of what you're doing. Uh, that's like the mentality you have sometimes that, you know, if I die, the round is kind of over. Um, so a lot of quote unquote pressure, but you know, you, you, know, you know, to be a boy does not fall under pressure. So, um, well, so like taking spawn peaks, if you really see a really free spawn peak, no matter what, you never challenge a spawn peak as a thermite or uh, most of your time you're not challenging. You kind of have to like, hey, yo, you call it out and you have someone else peek it that, you know, like a Zofia or an Ash, someone else with an ACOG or something like that. So after that, you just want to avoid all the possible ways you could die without, uh, you know, like don't take too much risk on your life you know don't peek stuff you don't have to peek don't pre-fire stuff you don't have to pre-fire just do whatever you can just get yourself next to the building and start droning yourself in so that leads to my second thing is drone work so drone work is you're joining about 50 percent of the round i mean 50 percent of the round you're on your outside of the door and like most of the time if you are playing thermite let's, let's take thermite for example a support player could be almost like any other ut other utility op, it doesn't only have to be a hard breacher. But let's let's use, I'm gonna use thermite for an example. Um, let's say I come out of spawn, and I like literally a minute a minute thirty into the round, I could still be outside next to my spawn. Why? Because I've been joining my team the whole time while they pick up the roamers. And literally, don't don't be afraid of being on a drone the whole time, but don't over drone. Don't be droning stuff that your teammates are not near anything, and don't don't call it useless information. So another thing with drone work is callouts. You have to know your callouts. You have to know your spots. And since you are the one droning, you are the one that could change up the game. Why? Because if you check that one corner where the Jaeger is hiding under the desk, that could win you the round. So make sure you're always checking your corners, efficient droning, and game sense will come right along with your drone work. Um, so make sure, like, literally get in the habit of maybe 10 seconds of the round, you're already under drone like that. Um, let's say on bank, right? We're on bank and you come out of the alleyway. You can rappel up to the roof. Don't take the ladder, rappel up to the roof, or you can just run out and, you know, uh, closer to the doorway. Um, you toss your drone up, you toss your drone in, uh, where this open area or it's in stock upstairs and you drone the whole top floor. Then you can get off your drone and then you can start moving in to get the walls open. You're not, you're not trying to take any gunfights. The only time you should be taking gunfights is if someone swings on you or if you're refragging somebody, or if it's at the end of the round, like, you know, the gunfight should come to you. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pressure the gunfights unless it's situational, you know? Sometimes you might have to, but if, if someone else can, is able to do it, then they should do it because your life is more important because you have, you're the only one with a hard breacher that can break any kind of stuff like opportunities like that. So, uh, Basically, what I'm trying to say is you're trying to save the opportunities and while you're saving those opportunities for you to stay alive, then you open up more opportunities like getting the wall open and joining your teammates in, you know? Always keep your drones alive in the beginning of the prep phase. I cannot stress that enough. Literally, don't take inside the building. Just keep it next to where your spawn is or keep it next to a door you're about to drone in, alright? Just don't risk your drone getting destroyed because that could really change up the game you know everything that's why i like about siege anything can change in the game whether it's a very very little angle uh drone anything man a flashbang all that kind of stuff so 
the last thing I want to get into is don't worry about kills, don't worry about the scoreboard. Rather, open up the opportunity to win the round. Focus on winning the round over the scoreboard. Uh, I think a lot of people do is they like they look at themselves, they're on the bottom of the leaderboard, everyone else has seven, eight, nine kills, and you are at the bottom with two or three or four, you know. That doesn't matter. Honestly, nobody matters about the scoreboard. Nobody cares about the scoreboard either. At the end of the game, it could be a four or five loss. Like people care about the loss more if you're playing you Thermite for two rounds and you have no frags on the board. You can't you can't just be like, oh I'm playing support, you know. That's not, that's not a valid excuse. Um, the only thing that should be uh, you should be worrying about is the plants and drone work. Uh, you droning, it basically, in my, how I see it, if you help drone out somebody and someone secures that kill, that that that's like half of your kill. You know, you executed half the play. That like you know, you're contributing a lot to the team. That's why I really love playing support. It's because I can do everything. I can frag out a storm if I wanted to. I can open up a wall. You know, you know, I uh, I like to be really uh have a lot of responsibility because I now I can execute on that kind of stuff. So if this video did help you a little bit, if, if you want to play more Thermite, more Hibana, please do it in your next game and uh, at your boy Athena and I will I'll check it out. So appreciate y'all for watching the video. Uh, if you guys want more videos like this in the future, more, more roles, how to play, please let me know. And if you want to see some live support gameplay, I am live almost every single day on Twitch. So please have a good day, please.